Tokyo, man. They know how to they know how to smoke the weed, break the dance, and, and fight drift the cars. Godzilla. Oh. What was what'd you say? Drift cars. Drift cars. Tokyo Vice. That's honestly that Tokyo Drift might be my favorite Fast oh, and Furious. It's called movie. Tokyo Drift, not Tokyo Vice, Tokyo Drift. Yeah. Uh did not You mixed that. uh Need for Speed. Uh and Vice City. Grand yeah, uh, that has Auto. Lucas Black in it, and Man and I were in a movie with him. He lives in Columbia, Missouri. Lucas Black, Lucas Black. What can I think of Small that name? He's the uh, he's the quarterback from the movie Friday Night Lights. I've never seen that show. He, he from plays, the movie. Uh, I've never seen that. Was he the? Com- I've never seen the movie. You haven't seen the movie? Why? I've never seen the show. I've never seen the movie. Why would I see the movie? Well, the movie the came first, and the movie's much better. The movie came first. Yeah, and they made the a book show came first, about so the, the book movie? sucks. There's a book about I don't, it. I think the I think the show oh, the book, is the a book little Bleachers. bit different. You're talking about the book Bleachers. <laughs> no, I'm talking about Friday Night Lights, the book about the, the economy of West Texas, and it Bleachers sucks. is it's the greatest and only football book I've ever read, and it's great. Okay, who wrote that? Great. I don't remember. I just no. know that it's called Bleachers. I was and go about on football. Tangent. The head the head coach dies, and he used to Lucas yell at, Black. Yeah, sorry, I'll get off that. Plays Vernon. Vernon, 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 Vernon. He plays Vernon. He plays Diller. the ma- the main guy in Killer Diller. I don't know about that. I haven't seen that movie. I'm in that movie. I mean, she yeah, is. Yeah, Van and I are in that movie. Here's the picture. I don't know if I'll find it. I think I can find a clip online. Yeah, if you've know. never seen Killer Diller, it's a great came out movie. in 2004. It's I have legit no idea. Pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. And it was filmed in Fayette, Missouri. I mean, you get to support local. We were living there at the time. It's filmed. We. Yeah, we lived there, and we that is at our elementary school. I thought it was the coolest thing ever. And we're talking about Killer and the guy Diller, from Sister Sister was in it. The 2004 movie, by the way, just so everyone knows. I think, yeah, there's there's like a 1940s yeah, yeah. movie. Is it a movie band movie? Diller. Band movie? It's like a yeah, yeah it's is like it a halfway a house. Oh it's no, like I don't a halfway think house, and they form a band a, to oh, like. Oh, I thought you meant like is a band? Like is it like? like no, you, not you band of brothers. Like a no, 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 no. No, yeah, yeah, like a, no. like a band, they play like, musical instruments and make songs. Yes, band. yes, nice. they do. Okay, but I imagine with the name and uh, yeah, I was about to say. That's what I was looking guy. up right now. Oh, yes. John Michael Huggins. It's a good. It's a good movie. I think it's. I mean, I think it's good. It's been a while since I've seen it, but I liked it growing up. I remember so in the scene when they're in the cafeteria where where we show up, Trace is dancing. I think. I can't remember, mm-hmm. and I'm sitting there coloring a book. Yeah, in I'm the center like... center frame. That's where I am. Anyway, um, that all the paper plates that have like smiley faces on them, like that are they're like decorated ac- along the walls. I remember in summer school making those, and I got my yeah. mine was rejected. I think I told the story on the show like a long time ago. <laughs> I just get a weird memory of telling this story. Um, I got and I mine got rejected. Not not they didn't tell us it was gonna be in a movie or. Maybe they did. I don't know. I was in like the first grade, so I don't remember. Um, I because I I was making the eyes, and I saw someone next to me. I didn't know how to draw eyes, and they just like did like they took they had, like those markers, like the big old like markers, you know. And yeah. the kid next to me like held it like this, and this went like doop doop like straight down on it, you know. And I was yeah. like, oh nice. A, so I did that too. Technique. And I I I did it once, and I was like, oh cool. And then I noticed on the second one, I pressed it harder and like kind of left it there. And like you, the the juices from the marker, like you know, you can see like kind of pool. And I was like, "Whoa, there's like liquid in this. It's like all wet." And so like I ended up just like I just did it again, and I just pressed it really, really hard and like for a long time, and it like seeped all the way through the paper plate and like just Ugh. ruined it. And I tried turning it in. It's, it was just like this one purple eye, and then like one just like complete like gash hole. Like this guy had uh, like some sort of terrible cancer in his face. <laughs> yeah, I wonder why they rejected it. I don't know. Every time I see the movie and I see those plates, I remember that story. Yeah, the one in the the movie that you really see is just yellow and it has black dot black dot yeah. smiley face. Like that was probably it's that so like the Walmart that was, one. That was probably that kid. I yeah, was it's watching. just like the smiley I like, face. I was like, that's the perfect smiley face, dude. That's like that's gonna be if in the my Forrest memory. Gump. Yeah, if my memory serves correct, the one that Forrest Gump invented. Yeah, I think he was the inventor of the smiley face. Hey, did he get? Did they get in trouble for that movie or book about being like, "Hey, you, he didn't invent all this stuff." He didn't. I mean, well, that definitely think, wasn't in the book because it's like it's a it's like historical fiction, right? 
right? Well, is it historical? Well, I guess it is technically, yeah, but like think, he is not a real person by any means. I, I don't like think he's based it, off of anyone. I feel like you call it historical fiction, and I could be wrong. Um, I mean, I think it technically like, is it's, because it's fiction because it, it's fake, but it like but it, it goes over place, historical. Events. It takes place during historical events. Yeah, like the whole yeah, like yeah. The march exactly on right. Washington speech. Yeah, where it's like Vietnam. yeah, he, he didn't actually give that speech. Where in Alabama actually, college in the movie, football, he technically didn't give that speech in the movie either because they pulled the plug on it. But uh, um, true. Yeah, I am just so upset that for the longest time I thought that was a real person like i definitely thought it was like a real thing and i was oh, just like it's exactly. amazing you know what people can do and then someone told me it's like mason you're 24 years old that wasn't real i was just like <laughs> what <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean you should read the, you should the, read the book the book is, the book is it's even crazier wild, dude. oh i don't know he goes to space. Yeah, Trace, no he it. doesn't yes he, he does space. they get no, they, they're with the um he meets a monkey <laughs> I know he What's doesn't. The... You can he, maybe yeah, sell me he... on space, but not the monkey part. He You're goes crazy, to space dude. with the monkey, and no, they... shut up. Yes, okay, does. I don't believe they... one bit now. When they load no. the spaceship, no, they send the wrong one. one I think you can look it up, Mason. That they tried <laughs> to make a Forrest Gump two movie, and the script is like crazy. Yeah, like, they yeah. there's a second More book gumpier. too that's not as good. Sure. And I bet In he came book... up with a 100 and second way to make shrimp. Where's the ball? Where's the cannibals at? Papua New Guinea or something like that? Yeah. Yeah. That's where their spaceship lands. Okay. They fall out of the sky and they land in Papua New Guinea yes. with the so cannibals. Crazy. Mason, it's oh, a man. wild ride, dude. You should It's just so to... weird that they didn't even cover that in the movie then. And he becomes a you chess imagine. master out in the middle of the woods. <laughs> okay. If you led with chess master, <laughs> Wait, so I would he, believe yeah. you. If you led with chess master, I might have believed you. I think it's fun that he is like a ping pong guy. Yeah, I never no, that really, is fun. I never really knew what, about ping pong until I saw that movie. I didn't know. Yeah. I didn't know it was Chinese. I didn't know it was like a sport. I thought it was just something that like grandpas had in their basement next to those yeah. those big dolls that are like the scared ones that are always going oh you know because yeah. they're so scared. Uh, I just like how he gets so bored that he just starts playing it by himself, and then it's just like amazing at it. And what? then goes to oh, the Olympics yeah, yeah, the for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like that's just a fun part of the story. I think it's just like, okay, why is he doing this? So he does. What's going on? And he's a chess master. Yeah, if you would have said, yeah, in the book, he's a he's also a chess master. I'm like, okay. And then you'd be like, and then he goes to space. I'm like, that's crazy, but okay. know what mice call ping pong tennis squeak what's up everybody welcome back to the mellow brick road we're here <laughs> path number one 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 111 Ooh. isn't that weird wow. it's not weird i guess it's numerical but uh yeah i tried looking up like if there was a special you know, like, what does that mean? One, one, one. But everything online was like, if you're seeing these things over and over again, and I'm not seeing it over and over again, it's just, this is the episode that we're on. So it's like, is that a special meaning? It turns out, like, a lot of things, uh, like horoscopes or fortune tellers, there's a lot of different meanings that can happen with this. It can be good. It can be bad. It could be, like, attracting fortune. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. This is the one that breaks it. You know, this is the one that, that does the deed for us. We do have a, a, a sponsor this episode, so we'll get into that later. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. A lot of it was just if you're seeing 111 a lot or like multiple ones, it's supposed to be like something 
like one means individual, but like one 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 multiple individuals. Could be a tr- the a triforce. Attracting could be a Zelda thing. It could be a triforce if you if you turn them all at a different angle. The ones and they, they make become a... a triforce. Whoa. Let's do it right yeah. now. Wait, I gotta do it this way. And it won't. It won't exactly work. I don't think because we're not like. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna cut. It's like yeah. There we go. Finish. Yeah. There we go. That worked. It looks. That doesn't look like a square at all. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect triangle. It's like one of those. Uh, you know, they 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 draw those circles and they're like, they put like gaps in it and they're like, oh, you, your mind will fill in the gaps to make it look like a triangle is in the circle. Oh whatever. yeah. That's what we. That's what we were trying to do there. So you, nice. We're an optical illusion, right? Bring it back to the. the yeah. BS fortune telling stuff. We're really going to stop. Uh, stump the uh, audio only listeners for sure. Oh yeah, yeah, they're never gonna know what's going on. And to them, I mean, we could just say that we did it perfectly, and yeah. they'll never know. As far, yeah. I mean, as far as I know, we're we're actually sitting on a park bench, right? Yeah. But they would actually they wouldn't even know that. But now they know that yeah. now. And is Godzilla behind us? Have they even, right. they've never known that. What's that guy? What's the bad guy from a? Uh, remember that old. Kids show Lazy Town, the put the puppets. You know who's the bad guy with the oh, yeah. that? Like, I like, no had the idea. had the tights. They have no idea. The people listening that aren't watching have no idea he's going from right to left right now on the screen. Behind Lazy, yeah, he's been on the show every episode. You ever seen Lazy Town, Mason? No, I think th- I think that might be one that I was too old for. I don't I don't know. Robbie heard Rotten. Oh, Robbie Rotten. He was a big meme for a long time. I remember he had like had a big break of like ten. He had like ago. a curly mustache. No, very uh, lack of a mustache, very long face. Well, mm-hmm. like it looks like it looked like the crimson chins, like from from Fairly Odd Parents with crimson, chin, crimson you know? chin. But like if he had terrible like muscular deficiency, you uh, know what I mean? Like he's just like I don't hmm. know. Actually, the guy that played the bad guy passed away in real life. This Robbie Rodden guy died. Old. Oh yeah, he definitely has a very defined chin. I liked Lazy Town. It was also it also like really got me pumped up to like exercise. I did too. Right? Lazy Town and like I don't know. I guess as I got older, I did oh, I did Oh yeah. That was a he, definitely uh, died a, that was definitely a, a kid's show. That that is sad. Uh that's a kid's show that I started watching and then I like, definitely I feel like I was aging out of it as I was as it was coming out. Like it was by the end of it I was like this is getting silly i can't be watching this yeah this is just kind yeah. of ridiculous like the puppet like whole episodes were like i don't know it's still fine but i was like this is like kid stuff um even though like the mayor you, was a puppet everyone was a puppet except for um the the exercise of the main guy i can't think of anyone's yeah. names sporticus sporticus was that sporticus? his dude mason i think and no there was that oh, little girl that girl with the pink hair who oh princess bubblegum no, 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 no. But she looks no. like a Princess Bubblegum. Just uh, says Stephanie. Stephanie, sure. Oh, she also why do you lives... have all these weird names and then just have Stephanie? I and then a bunch that. of puppets. And then everything else is puppets. So there's like a nerdy puppet. There's the puppet that's like, this is mine. It's, I'm not going to share it. I'm never sharing. This is all my stuff. That that kind of puppet. Nice puppets. Um, mailman puppets. Mayor puppets. Just a lot of puppets. And they were like full-bodied. Right, no legs, I guess, but like they were like they they right. looked like people. They didn't look like Muppets, right? They were like they looked like people. Yeah. It was a weird show, and he could do like push-ups with two fingers, and like Ooh. one hand behind his back, and it was he could do like backflips, and it was all about exercise. That was the whole thing. It was like eating healthy, sharing, working out. So it had like good messages. It was just a yeah. overall just a weird show. Robbie Rotten, yeah. I don't. I think his whole thing was just like get everyone to eat junk food and like fight that was like his whole thing well he would junk food did club. not work out he'd walk around him. like this mm, it's all sneaky like yeah like a, just a weird just a weird <laughs> what a weird show if you it's like one of those if you analyze it too much you're like i can't this is getting too strange yeah, I, also apparently uh unrecognized uh award he won uh, in Ooh. 2016, he uh, his meme, I guess, was voted best meme of the year there we on go. like Reddit's uh, yep. dark memes page. Told you, boom, dude. Dang. Do you do you do you know what the meme was? Do you have a it was something about his song. That's all I read about. Though. Can you can you 
Yeah, I can try to find it. The through the song we are number one. It says. <laughs> I got it. I'll get it right here. Oh, it's. I think it was an Icelandic, British American show. Icelandic, British Icelandic. American? So yeah, I think like the main actors were all from Iceland. Interesting. Okay, like uh, this guy is from Iceland for oh, sure. Yeah. yeah, I can hear it. Okay, that's Sporticus. I love the way he's acting right now. I remember. I remember this meme now, though. I know the song. Oh yeah, the song is great. There's Stephanie. There's the asshole puppet, the one that doesn't share. I don't remember this at all, dude. I used, dude, watching Sporticus like flip around is the coolest shit ever. So is that all he does? Is run around and flips? No, he like, he helps old ladies across the street. He's a super nice guy. He has that cool mustache. He, he's the one mm. with the mustache. Look at this net that I just found. <laughs> That's so stupid. Look at the way they walk. It kind of reminds me of like a Waligi. Yeah, I dude, I I could totally see that as a inspiration for this character. <laughs> wow. Not bad. So again, I stopped watching that show. I don't watch it anymore. Let me get this a little bit closer. Oh. Trace is talking to his little baby boy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So I've never. I don't remember that episode with those other guys. The other. What was his name? Robbie Rotten. Robbie don't Rotten. Rem, don't remember that. Um. I don't know if those were. I assume they were clones. Probably. I doubt they were like a fan club, but they might have been. They might have been. You know, he was a charismatic guy, Robbie. As as disgusting as he was. Okay. Wow. That that really kind of threw me off. That kind of threw a wrench in my entire my thinking today uh hmm. using that to segue over to something else though uh this did you see the clone of nor of a uh, kim jong un at the olympics no. so it was like an impersonator or i don't know i think it was an, i mean it was a impersonator obviously uh but during the north koreans they, they were celebrating uh, and they had like a bunch of like, you know, people going through, like celebrating with the athletes. Like the athletes were like standing here and then like the people would like walk in front and they'd go, yeah, hi, yeah, hi, good job and all that. And there was a Kim Jong-un impersonator, uh, there. And I have a picture. Yeah. That one, that woman on the right is so funny because it, it, and it also kind of fits because you're like, is she mad because it's someone pretending to be Kim Jong-un like she's like why would someone want to do that sort of thing uh, I just think it's really funny because looking at it it's it's clearly not Kim Jong-un um, and he just kind of like was just waving a flag going by why would they do that to like to make it seem like he was there watching I mean, just someone being a. Well, do you do you think North Korea put him put him up to it? I would just assume it was someone different, just like someone making fun of North Korea or something. That would be funny if that's the case. Hey, I don't know anything about. I don't know. Um, anything like I don't story. I don't think by looking at their reaction, I don't think it was anyone that they knew would be coming there. Right? Yeah, they don't. I don't think they were expecting it. Yeah, but it's I think like, they have to act that way because if they laughed, they would probably die. That's true. You got to be like, I can't believe someone would do that. Yeah. Dress up as my god. Yeah. It sounds funny, but I'm pretty sure like that's how they are supposed to think. Yeah. Well, there's a, those clips of like when his dad died, and all those people had to like. It's not. It's a thing of like they had to cry, but not only that, like they have to like. If even if you're, like if everyone in the room's crying now, you punish the ones who aren't crying enough. Yeah. Right. So then, like, it's not just you have to cry, but you have to cry harder than the people ne around you. And then those people are seeing you doing that, so then they have to go harder. And then it's just like a bunch of insane people just wailing like banshees uh, at an at just a 
not a not, not very nice guy, you know, which is a strange behavior. Uh, when you're like so, I don't know if brainwashed is the right word, but just like so, it's like the truck, the MAGA stuff, and you're just like so, like you would like die for this person, for some reason. But well, uh, I my uh, I know someone that was at a funeral the other day. I won't say who, I won't say the name. But I, uh, they told me they they gave me the obituary from like the day like they went to the visitation, and there was a Trump "Make America Great Again" at the bottom of the obituary, which was like I was like, wait, what? Why would what does this have to do with? Did they work for his campaign? What is this? What's going on here? They didn't. They didn't. They didn't. They had never been to a, even a rally, I don't think, and then. They went to the funeral the next day, and they said they were they were buried with like wearing all of their Trump stuff, like MAGA stuff, like suit, hat, flags, and Damn. buttons, and all this stuff, like buried like it was a like an Egyptian tomb, you know, like a pharaoh being buried with all of his treasure. And that's just it's it's you know. No disrespect, you know, but it just seems like he's only Trump. That's only been around for a few years. Has it even? He hasn't even been doing this whole "Make America Great Again" for a decade. It's just no. crazy that like that's like that. You'd make that there, your, your personality. Whole, your whole funeral is yeah. like is like surrounded by that. Is such a. It's so. I don't know. To me personally, it seems like strange behavior. Yeah, I was watching someone on TikTok the other day, and they're based like he was basically making the point how like if you actually put Trump on paper, he's like the opposite of what most Republicans would like want. Like he's a New York billionaire, um, who had his hand in Hollywood for at least ten years, yeah, if not more. So he's yep. a Hollywood elite, so to speak lizard um, person yeah and it's just uh and like a lot of people trust him but they don't trust the government which is like the president is the government well no it's more like okay so you see this guy as like your ruler so it's more of like a king or worst case scenario a dictator which that is a communist thought You'd rather have him as a dictator than a king because his children For sure. suck. You don't want the power going to them when he dies. This is a dictator. There's a possibility for some sort of military coup against the dictator so they can take power. You know, like with a king, it's like no, you have it's like families. You don't want those dum dums running running after him. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah. But and then. No disrespect, so you, though. Yeah. And then Besides you have that. Stay safe. Yeah. <laughs> then you have that, and then it's just like also you have a lot of people on the fence that maybe would vote more conservative most of the time, and then you have Tim Walls now, the guy that hunts and fishes, dude, he and is the then manliest considers Democrat. he considers turkey meat vegan. So <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I or didn't like, know that. Yeah, there's a video of him and his daughter. So like. He's like to try to like um to you know bond with her. We do we meet up every year and we do something old and something new. So we're gonna ride some old rides and then uh try some new ones out and then but before that, let's get some food. I'm thinking corn dog. And she's like, Well, I'm a vegetarian, so no. He's like, Okay, turkey leg then. And she's turkey like, uh, turkey still meat. And he's like, Not in Minnesota, it's a special kind of meat. <laughs> That's so funny. So it's just like all these guys are probably like so cool. God, I kind of like this guy. Tim Walls is so cool, dude. He's a cool yeah. guy. He seems funny. I mean, he seems down to earth. Down to earth, honestly. They call him like, Coach. Yeah. Everyone in Minnesota calls him Coach. That's so cool. He's literally like the perfect. He's the perfect VP for the Democrats in yeah. this climate. It's he couldn't be. He couldn't be more of like a Republican looking Democrat. It's yeah. amazing. Like he, 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 he's everything like what Republicans say they are, like 
he's actually like that and yeah. he's also a cool guy so like yeah. you don't have to like hunt and then anyone that doesn't hunt you don't you be like oh well i guess you're just like a little fucking pussy then you're probably nothing it's like no you can hunt and also be a cool guy just be like yeah turkey's a, not a real meat yeah <laughs> it's like oh, i mean you're crazy yeah tim and like, come on tim that might upset some people but at the end of the day i think most people think no he's kidding he supports but... vet yeah i say yeah. yeah his daughter's vegetarian yeah. and she's hanging out with him yeah elon musk's he won't even say his kid's name yeah dude he also puts up numbers dude like uh minnesota is number three in like the wealthiest state or like makes generates the most income He's a good and governor. then uh number six in overall happiness and i'll tell you what when i lived there for i never lived there longer than like three months but oh, i loved minnesota there. minnesota was nice dude and like if i ever moved to another state it would be minnesota i think are you is this you officially are you endorsing tim walls as vice president I think I I like him a lot. I like what he has to say, and would I think you, like it. Would you vote for him for president? Yeah, probably. Are you gonna write his name in? No. Don't do it. No, I'm probably gonna. He's not the president's Harris. pick. Yeah, but I think uh, I think, I think he's like a pretty good shoe in for the next like Democratic pick. I would. Oh yeah, I wouldn't be surprised at like, all. Like even if he that. loses, even if they lose this time around, I think. I think people already love him, and I think the whole state of Minnesota would be behind him. People are going crazy for him right now, but for both of them, I mean, it's nuts right now. Yeah, people, I think people have already people have forgotten that Biden is still president for a few more months. Yeah, they've like completely. Like, as soon as she was running, like said she was running, everyone else was like, "See you, Biden!" Like you just keep doing what you're doing. You know what? He's staying quiet. He's doing. He's still doing his job and passing bills and doing what he needs to do. Just. Under the radar, he's letting Harris take it away, and he's just he's just riding it out. Yeah, he's also kind of a shit talker, and I like that. I like that too. Tim Walls. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Well, he's a he's football a, coach, so you have to be exactly. kind of a sh- dude. Yeah, I bet he. Oh man, I want to get him out on the boat. Tim Walls, if you're watching this right now, I want you to come to Missouri, Mark Twain Lake. We'll go boating. It'll be sick. I think like, he's the also kind of sick. He's also maybe the only, uh, well, he might be the only senator or governor or maybe just vice presidential pick ever that doesn't own any stock. Yeah, I saw that too. He's actually like one of he he, he his net worth is lower than the average Americans. Yeah. And yeah, and my net worth is like it's not low. Well, I mean, well, technically, he doesn't own a home or anything, like because he sold his home and moved into the governor's homeless? mansion. He, well, he lives I, in the yeah, governor's he, mansion, yeah, he the, yeah, he but he technically, mansion. if he was not governor, he would not have, he would have to buy another house or rent one. Damn, dude. That's crazy. So, what a he's just a, he's just guy. a cool kind of Midwest dude. Like he's chill. Yeah. They keep trying to find stuff on him. And it's like, he's no, they call him tampon Tim. Oh, yeah. tampon Tim wants to give uh, a bunch of little girls health care. Yeah. He wants to put he wants to put well, health products in bathrooms. What a freak. It's like Yeah. You well, wanna, he, he wants you, to put you don't want men's... you don't want people to be able to take care of their bodies in the privacy yeah. of a bathroom. Yeah. What I I yeah, I mean, I don't really care. Once again, I don't know why people give a shit of what happens in a bathroom, you know? But well, I don't give two shits what happens in a little kid's bathroom. Yeah. An elementary school bathroom, who cares? Well, actually, I care about what happens in the little kids' bathrooms, and that that is important because you don't want like molesters and stuff in there. But right. I mean, like when it comes to like it, anything, anything female, whenever it says like female and health, I'm always like, like just do it. Yeah, it has nothing well, to do I with me. He's... It's gonna make it's gonna make females happy, and you know what? At the end of the day, that's what's most important. Yeah, I Not think he's getting a lot of the gripe though, uh, because he's doing it in like the men's restrooms too. He's putting tampons in men's restrooms. Yes, I think that's why he's getting. That's why they call him Tampon Tampon Tim. Well, is it for like if for someone who's transgender? Probably. Okay. Wait, who who cares? What if it's exactly. like exactly? That's oh, what I'm hey, saying. Oh, hey, hey, Mark. Oh, what's up, Jessica? What's up? What's up? What's up, Jessica? You feeling gritty? Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm Ritz Ritzen Risen Risen. Is it Risen? Riz is like <laughs> charisma. 
So if you have Riz, you're like oh, a smooth talker. I, I got Riz. So <laughs> I talk like, no, I'm like you, you now. No, you sound Jessica. like you have Tiz. What do you need, Jessica? Mark, I need I need uh I'm, I need a tampon, but it's all out in the women's bathroom because women use them because they have bodies that need them. And he goes, Oh, well, I saw um Jake. The men's? I saw Jake. He was he was in there because he's my he's my he's on the football team. He's transgender. He's cool. He's my best friend. And he said, "There's there's they just stocked up in the men's. I'll grab you one, girl." He goes, "Don't call me girl." No. I'm sorry about that microaggression towards your gender. Well, let me go get that tampon for you. Yeah. <laughs> he, he goes and gets her a tampon, and, yeah. and 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 I don't know if they're free or not. I they're probably free. Um, and there you go. Yeah, I was gonna say he could buy like a quarter. I don't know how. I don't. I don't know. Yeah, um, but he, that's that's probably how that would play out. So like it works. Yeah. they're both very good. Those are good children. Also, tampons are pretty good for nosebleeds too. So that's a good point. Trace loves I, shoving tampons up his nose. I I've used one for a nosebleed before, and it was it was perfect, dude. I did like, it for a basketball game one time. I remember they they shoved one up my nose, and I was really embarrassed, but. They cut the string off. So I mean, it, it was you were using the tampon how it's supposed to be used. Like, I mean, it might be embarrassing, but that's how you use the product. They don't so. market it toward women. There's well, just women. They in, there's just women in the commercials. But I'm <laughs> saying you can, but you can use it for nosebleeds. Yeah, I mean, don't well, be embarrassed about anything. getting tampons. If anything, if you're a dude and you get lots of nosebleeds, buy a tampon. Why Maybe not? go to the doctor. I don't think that you should be getting frequent nosebleeds. I think that's probably a medical issue. You should go to the doctor. But. Unless you are, okay, what if you're living inside of a Japanese anime? Then you're just horny and you need to find Jesus or something. No, you need to, uh, hmm. It, what I was going to say is, <laughs> just buy a tampon. Buy a yeah. box tampons, get nosebleeds, buy a box tampons, don't be embarrassed about it. And if anything, if anyone goes, what are you buying tampons? What, you got like a, uh, what are you, a woman? You go, no, they're for your mom. She's at my place tonight. <laughs> Except that probably wouldn't worry. Uh, you could just say, you just say, no, it's from, they're for my hot wife or hot girlfriend or they're for my hot whoever. Oh, is this, you know? is this seat taken? You guys oh, mind if I? Oh, oh yeah, oh, let me yeah. scooch over. You guys sit here? Oh, yeah, yeah. Let, me, let me. I'll scooch. I'll oh. scooch. I'm feeling small today. <laughs> yeah, a little. It's okay. Let me just lean on back. Yeah, just lean on back. No, I want to get closer. Just tap what I miss? it in. Um, right now, <laughs> what did he miss? Well, right now, <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to convince men to just buy a box of tampons in the store and not be embarrassed because they're for nose. They could be used for nosebleeds. We're talking Here's about. The, we're, we're, we're talking about Tim. She's Walsh. the man. Let's just go back. Oh. Thank you for the reference. We were talking about Tim Walls <laughs> and how he's just a badass. And we got on the tampon Tim stuff. Yeah. I guess I don't understand that reference. Well, because... He wants to put tampons in, in school all bathrooms. All restrooms. Yeah. All restrooms. So uh, men and women. Men and women's bathrooms. Okay. So, and a lot of people are calling him tampon Tim because he... He, he called out Republican... Well, he's he a, called out Republicans for being weird, and then so it's like, but this guy's the guy who wants to put tampons in men's restrooms. Let's just call tampon Tim. I've so seen the memes, lame. but I didn't, I didn't know all the dots to to connect there. Huh. He supports healthcare yeah. for people. Right. It's also That's just really weird. funny that your only dig on the guy um, is that when you're voting for a convicted felon, it's just kind of crazy in my opinion. But um, there's also another thing about him like claiming technically stolen valor oh dude which, that that's was, a big one but and dude any veteran a, any veteran that was like hardcore to trump i bet that took i bet they saw that whole shit and they were like mm, that it yeah, hurts because tim Walz is pretty respected in the military actually he, well so his whole thing is he served our uh army national guard or minnesota national guard 24 years um when his uh unit was about to be deployed to iraq that's when he like i don't know if he was in the talks of already separating or not but he ended up separating right before they got deployed ran for congress on like an anti-war kind of thing so like he got out because he didn't agree with the with the war in general and i i don't find any like hate on that like i feel like that's a very like 
calm and like if you don't agree with it why fight for it you know he was in he was there for 24 years and 24 years yeah the military yeah, they'll give you part. full full of uh, retirement benefits at 20 years so i mean he served an yeah. extra four years so yeah he, did. he stayed an extra four years how about that how about that suckers and yeah. uh he doesn't shoot dogs like if they need to be put down or just no it was that there was that woman there was that governor or senator whoever shot a dog oh uh, because it wouldn't like it wouldn't, it wouldn't i think sit. that she is the sit. and so she was like this dog no uh, it, she, it wasn't being it wasn't no, well trained uh, look it up no you're gonna have to, mason i'm not looking it up oh, anymore no. you can look it up i can't no, remember who i just is. can't believe that's there's no way that's just that it was just it that. was not a well-trained dog it oh, was not no. well trained it was like it was barking or like snapping at people how like does, maybe how like she have a job hey man you're Dude, like I three months away like, on that question i just feel like people in america as a whole I think you could go up and kill somebody and you'll have more support than if you killed a dog. Like, yeah. I just I just feel like that's the well, general it, consensus. So, Trump, full support, right, uh, from Republicans. And then that woman, though, they were like, yeah, I'm going to just look away from you. Yeah. Right? So, like, I, yeah. bet he, I bet if he paid the dog hush money, yeah, people wouldn't be supporting him as much. I bet. I bet he's paid. I bet there's a dog out there that's got paid hush money. No. Tell me what we, we we did here today, and these are all jokes, by the way, all jokes. Yeah, like jokes. Yeah, historical fiction. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Dash non. Let's move on to the Olympics. Um, from Tim Walls, because I have some questions that I need answered. By the way, I saw the break dancing. Okay, I haven't watched the men's yet. I watched the women's final. I enjoyed it personally. Yeah. But I did research mm-hmm. on it beforehand, so I kind of knew what I was going into. And everyone, because everyone online is like, like the gold medalist at the women's final break dancing, and she's like doing just just the top rock. She hasn't even gone down yet. She's just like dancing at the very beginning of the song, and they go some eight year old kid in the Bronx, and he's doing like thirty like cartwheel <laughs> like spins, you know. And it's like that's yeah okay. So like a downhill skier in the Olympics versus someone who's like going like full speed like between trees doing backflips between trees it's like there's rules in the olympics like they have to follow very strict rules about like their form the they can't like repeat moves they lose points if they if they repeat moves they they have to have you know it's like all these different stipulations right yeah, yeah that like keep you kind of boxed in and it's also improv so they're not right. they're not dancing to a song they've heard 50,000 times there there there's DJs laying down fresh beats on just on them and every round it there's three rounds and every round the rhythm and the pace changes of the song so they don't so like it completely changes every time so they have no idea what they're dancing to so like the first like I was trying to explain at least from the women's it kind of looked like a 20 second loop so there's like three loops of the like a three of the same loop in each round for each person they have one minute and it seems like the first 20 seconds is them like kind of like listening while they're while they're moving you know like kind of just like listening to how the beat goes and then after the first loop is over they you see them like go like on beat and they're doing like after they start doing like the flips and they're doing everything on beat which is cray cray i don't know i enjoyed it i thought it was interesting it's just like uh, the gymnastics floor routine but uh smaller stage they're not holding like a ribbon or a ball and uh they have like cool hats and it's just they do like a lot of like like they they like look at each other and they go nothing you're nothing dude you get out of here they do like a lot of that it's it's, i don't know it was fun the women's i enjoyed i'm excited to see the men's because i feel like the men's will be like more aggressive probably Probably. uh but i don't know I, i i don't know maybe they'll i don't know if there's like teams for breaking or anything or how they're doing it but People were dogging on it because they said it was like really bland and whatever. It's like, yeah, it's the in the Olympics. It has to be. It's also the first time, so they got to make sure it looks presentable for the first time. Maybe they'll add yeah. like extra events, like a breaking, like freestyle sort of thing, or they have like and, like they like, have like a five minute routine or something. I don't know. And like it's the Olympics, so if they mess up, it's over. 
like when you're out in the street, you can just throw whatever you want. If it doesn't work, you just move doesn't on work. and yeah, try it again tomorrow. Whatever, I'll try again. It has yeah. to be a routine that works so it can be scored correctly. And like, it's, I don't know. I, I, don't know. I enjoyed it. I thought it was fun. The beats were pretty sick. Um, I don't know. Uh, but I do have some questions about the Olympics uh, while I was watching some of the events uh, the last couple of days. So the first one. So sometimes when you're watching and they're like before the event starts, when like you know people are filing into the stands, officials are all talking, athletes are like they're announcing athletes. So like when they make announcements at an event at the Olympics, let's say it's like rock climbing or something. When they're making an announcement, like oh everyone get ready for you know women's rock climbing quarterfinals with you know, do they have to make multiple announcements in different languages? Or do people have like those little like translator thingies that like politicians have at, at the at the UN that like translates mm. in their ear? Because I, I, I also I had the same thought. Yeah, I bet it's a combination but with, of both. With officials, like when you're officiating a soccer game between two nations yeah, that speak the, different languages, how do Olympics, officials? The refs are always the refs are from different countries too. Sometimes, right? Which is interesting. I don't know how that any of that works, actually. Well, yeah. the basketball officials, I don't know if it had anything to do with it. They had like this like yellow band around their neck, but it could have just been part of the uniform, but I'd never seen it before. The officials? So I don't know if it – yeah, it was like a – I almost want to figure out what that was. Uh, I don't know. I could see it being a handful of things. I mean, there's a lot of countries that already teach English as a second language. Right. Lot, so yeah. I was wondering. I see it just being English and it just being like the universal language. I feel um, like sometimes. Well, okay. So my other question with with that is like, what if it's you know in this in this event you have like Lithuania, China, Japan, America, Australia, New Zealand, right? So what if you just like do you just do the announcements in? Like if you do if you do do multiple announcements in different languages, you would only do the ones at the okay. Well, maybe that's too many teams. What if it's like beach volleyball, America? What's a country that isn't like Lithuania? I'll just do Lithuania again. Uh, do they do like two announcements? One in English, one in Lithuanian. Yeah, I think to, I think if you listen closely, like during the Olympics. I think whatever country is out there, they're going to say the announcement in that country's uh, native tongue and then mm. follow it up with a handful of others. Yeah. Um, because I think you I think you can hear a lot. And like for me, anytime I'm watching the Olympics, you always constantly hear someone talking like over the like make like the speakers or something. And a lot of the times I feel like I can't understand it. And I think it's because it's a different language. And I think it's just the same message kind of repeated in multiple languages. Mm. Yeah, I don't know. I just, just but also there, I feel like there's a lot of like people from other countries that will come to America for like college and stuff for like sports opportunities because right. there was there's two there's a there is a heist. Um, okay, these are two different stories. I'm mixing up, but there's two people that are in the Olympics now that were freshmen, had the same freshman orientation at like texas university or something one was an american but one was french and he's a pole vaulter or something oh um, and then there's also a high school in california that has had someone from their high school represent them in the olympics ever since like 1972 i thought you were about to say wait, 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 you mean like while they're in high school no no okay. but someone just they that high school just produces olympians i bet they're i bet they recruit i bet this is for bullshit. sure it's a, it's, it, yeah, it's a california See, that school. kind of shit when they go everyone from our it's like no they fucking don't you don't breed olympians you bring in talented athletes from other schools yeah. to make your it's school like yeah your facilities better. are millions of dollars that's and because the athletes because the, the, the kids that you force parents to leave their homes to and put all their finances and hopes and dreams into their child and it's and they're gonna they're gonna grow up and be super successful in the in athletes and they're gonna make a lot of money and probably give away give money to charity and be super nice to people and just be great so that's your legacy you make really cool people yeah assholes. that was i don't know why i was so aggressive about that but yeah. i don't like no recruiting. i mean i, I definitely 
Yeah, no, I agree with you on that. Now, here's my question for you, though, because I do think there is a second step to that. Like, I think you could be like the best athlete at sport. And I, I don't think that means you're going to win the gold, though. Like, if you if you had the talent of a like a limp of an Olympian for whatever event that you wanted to do, if you didn't practice, do you think you would actually win? Like you have all the talent, you have all the talent. You just don't practice or you don't do anything. Hmm. No, like, I I don't think you're no. getting top three. Talent, yeah. talent no. wouldn't get you even close. I don't think yeah. talent. I don't even think talent would get you to the Olympics. Uh, no, probably maybe not. not because no, because well, that's know, the, that, that's the top know. of the top of the top. What about, what about when like fourteen year olds and like sixteen year old kids get in there? That's because they're the fucking best. That's but that's what I'm saying. And like, they've probably been doing it since they were two, so they have years of experience. Yeah, I'm trying to think of like the track. Athletes, I mean, I think like your muscles won't even develop until you're at least like. 12 13 like you can be like a kid that runs a lot and like whatever but yeah and i think you're thinking more conventional like yeah i might be sports like look at sean white he was 14 i think when he first entered the olympics and he he won gold i'm top but i'm okay i don't want to you're making me i don't want to do this right now but (laughs) snowboarding is different athletically than correct field and that is more technique and you probably need to spend more time doing that well, I'm saying like a, 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 a sprinter can't just be naturally fast. He has to have strength in his legs and his shoulders and his arms. And, and his he core. needs to have like a fast, like he instant, needs to, yeah, like he, release. He can't just be like fast. He has to have a lot of like, yeah, he has to have strength with it. And I, don't, I guess I don't know. Yeah, and I guess technique and like yeah. race mind, like knowing when to, you know, go and when to. Yeah. control the pace and coming Way out of the blocks like, and... kick it into overdrive you know yeah i those i think you just see veterans like the quincy what was his name quincy uh jones the 16 year old in the 400 like he didn't get that's to the final th- that's who i was thinking of and not like he ran a great leg to get there he's a 16 year old kid that yeah, got crazy. to the olympics but like i don't think he quite had the like mental Mm, strength yeah. of like and a that's crazy. Like, how but how could imagine, you imagine imagine that exactly. yeah yeah how you could can't you expect he's 16 to. dude so picture this your <laughs> town right your friends and family which is fine everyone has friends and family that are watching in the olympics your high school friends sure you yeah. have free, we have friends that we went to high school with and they saw us doing you know some Olympics that right now they'd be like well it's crazy i went to high school with that guy those yeah. kids are looking around going I'm going to high school with that kid in September. Like yeah. school's going to be starting in like and less he than has a month. A gold medal and he's going to have a neck. he's going to have a medal around his neck, and yeah. he's going to be in my history class. Like he is, he's only sixteen, and he yeah. did, like the pressure. The pressure of that would be insane. Did you yeah. see he put insane. off getting his license so that he could like focus on training? He just runs everywhere. Yeah, he yeah yeah. He's sixteen. Where did he, he go? He didn't. He didn't want to waste time getting his license until after the Olympics. That doesn't even make realistically that doesn't make any sense to me. Like, that, like yeah, that sentence was he, is was just he gonna crazy. like was he gonna do like driving lessons I guess beforehand? Well, I mean <laughs> you knows? you have to study the book and stuff. I remember studying the book, like I read it a few times. Um, for for me the whole only thing was like some of the crossing signs, as in like yeah. like the ones that are like for the median and stuff. Or, All right, you know, but if you have your headlights on and a car's approaching you. When's the safe distance to turn those off? That's in the book. 300 feet? 200 feet. Oh, my God. You would have failed. I'm a safety. I'm a safety. <laughs> safety Sandra. That's what I do, extra bro. Extra safe guy. I'm an extra safe guy. Uh, no. I, it's, I don't know. It's just, it's still weird that you. Yeah, I'm, ju- I'm joking. Just, I know. I'm joking. I know. It's just, I know. I'm just, I'm still picturing. I just can't imagine, like, what, how much time did I spend actually, like, because I spent, like, 30 minutes actually practicing to parallel park like the 30 minutes before i left to go like i didn't do like i know people that had like driving tutors and stuff and they had like a 99 there's, yeah 100%. there's schools that have an entire and, semester class and you know what that that those people that i know who i'm not gonna name i'm doing a lot of like not name dropping this episode that <laughs> did the driving tutors they're not very good drivers they're they're pretty like I have, to, I hold on. What is that handle? People call it like the oh shit handle or whatever. I hold on to that a lot when I'm with them driving. 
scary. Yeah. And they got like a 99 on there. I remember they were walking around. I got a 99 on my driver's test. What'd you get? I got a lower score because I tried parallel parking. And then like after the third turn, I still didn't get it. So I was just like, "Mm." at this point, I'm only going to get three points anyway. So, but that was the one that they said you could fail, which is crazy because I think that's the most useful thing to know is how to parallel. park. Oh, it's so useful. So useful. It's I don't do it I've all the time, it but it's nice. Once maybe when it works out, oh. it works out real nice, dude. I, I did my that. CDL test, and I was better at that kind of parking with a trailer than I was when I did oh, my man. parallel trailer parking. Parking's hard, but if you know it, it's it's pretty. Yeah. I'm starting it's, to, it's I'm starting to get it. I'm good. starting to get it. I would love to just drive as a job. I feel like that'd be nice. I would just hate to go into cities and then like park and unload at cities. But. Yeah, <laughs> I used to fantasize uh, being a truck driver. When I was younger, we kind of used Mr. to Williams made travels. it sound like a good deal, right? It was, exactly, it was Williams. It was uh just driving across the country. Yeah, just I mean, I don't know. It sounds kind of nice. I mean, to you, like actually get probably like to cities, and you you need to get to be a semi truck in a city. Yeah, uh, I would but hate man, that. Too. They open. I wish Nightmare. I could like, hey, I'll just do the driving. Like you can take it out of the warehouse and to city limits, and then I'll take it from there. I'll drive like twenty hours on the highways, and then like when I get to like. Ran in uh, Los Angeles. I'll just stop before I get in, and then someone else can just like take it and do all that unload yeah. stuff. But I'll take that. That reminds all. me of I, there was a story a couple of weeks back. I don't remember where I saw it, but there's a company. Their whole deal is there's a bridge that people don't like to drive over because it like I don't know what it was if it like causes motion sickness or something. But they call their company. Hmm. And they park in this little commuter lot, and that company comes and takes your car across the bridge for you. And but I don't know then how the person gets across it. Maybe like a ferry or something. A big catapult. Yeah. <laughs> a cannon. You don't like want to drive our bridge. You got to take a catapult. Sorry. And then you get over there, and it's just like meow, 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 meow. And you're like, oh god, it's, it's run by cats. And like, what do you think it was? A dog a pole? <laughs> It's path one one one, everybody, and we are at our A game. You know what? One one one. That's us. One one one. We were number one. It was his hat, Mister Krabs. Kent Island Express. Am I a pretty girl? <laughs> oh, yes, you're. You're beautiful. <laughs> I love that line. Oh That's my one god! Of the best. A floating shopping list. No, I'm a ghost. Yeah, I showed <laughs> my nephew that episode, and he did not think that was funny. Um, that might like, be one of the best episodes, actually. It's just it's very groceries, quotable. and I was like, "It's, it's," not, and I was like, "It's a ghost," and he's like, "It's just a drawing." I'm like, "Bro, <laughs> you're crazy." <laughs> the skeletons did get him though. That was pretty funny. Schmitty working Jaegerman Jensen. Schmitty, yeah, okay, I couldn't remember his name. Schmitty Warben Jaegerman Jensen. He was number one on the gravestone. It says he was number one. Yeah. <laughs> That's so tough. I know the best is like, huh? What's What's Mr. Squidward doing here? And Squidward walks with the flowers and puts them down. His... <laughs> walks off, and Mr. Krabs walks over there. <laughs> here lies Squidward's hopes and dreams. <laughs> that shit is so funny. I was laughing so hard. Timmer's like, "What does that mean?" I was like, "Dude, that hits so that hits so hard." Oh, here talking. lies Squidward's hope and. Dreams. I was gonna say, Gary, why is he not showing up? I don't know. He's not real. Uh, what is happening? chief uh dog came over my shoulder oh from yeah. the park. Uh, there was just a phantom tongue just it, like wasn't yeah. registering like any of his face except his tongue trying to lick my cheek <laughs> so then it's just this weird like uh, I don't know. trace i think your house might be haunted and bad news the ghost is a freak <laughs> or is that good <laughs> or good news i don't know <laughs> <laughs> that is funny that is good stuff um okay let me do one more thing from the olympics but before we get out of here because i have another funny picture and look we're against stereotypes, and I know oh, Mason. Buddy. Mason, I know that you're you you're a regular visitor of the tolerance tunnel, tunnel of tolerance. You're there yeah. all the time because you keep getting in trouble. And I don't want to promote stereotypes, but this is just like two on the nose. The Canadian weightlifter, oh, Maud, Sharon, Sharon, Karen, Karan. Those are the those are your choices. A, B, C, D. Choose your favorite. She was caught with a picture, not like caught like in trouble. Um, drinking 
Canadian maple syrup before her silver medal <laughs> event. Just out of a bag, sucking it down. Apparently, and she won silver medal. She got uh, silver. Yeah. Apparently, it is like a brand that it's like an athletic, like an energy sort of like goop sort of thing, and like Gatorade. And hers was uh, like or maple syrup. Uh, Dude, hell yeah! I love that. It's probably great. It we probably should is do. Great. Oh, that's yeah, Oh, like wow. That. I love how it keyed her out. Or yeah. keyed that out. You, you can't really see the bag because it's all bright, but it's like, a, it funny. looks like um just a gray, like, astronaut. Is it like a bag. squeezable? It's like a squeezable. It's like thing, those yeah. uh, applesauce. Exactly. Like, it's, like, it's like a bigger version. Like, it was like this big, bigger, like, apple get into pack, that. But maple hey, man. Syrup. I think Canada does it right, man. They're the only place that has, uh, like, Lay's potato chips that are ketchup flavored. And that's what I want, you know? Hmm. Not into that. Curious about I saw that. Doritos I mean, I'm, I'm has a ketchup it. I'm into that, Mason. Oh, I'm into, really? Mason, I'm into yeah. ketchup and, li- and chips. But I'm cur- I'm just merely curious. Because you got to get that right. If you have I think they do it right. I mean, it was on Degrassi. so I never watched Degrassi. Quit bringing up shows I'd ever seen before. Uh, yeah, we weren't really into out. that. That's where Drake got famous. Didn't Drake, like... Uh, molest a girl in that show and then they the guy's Ooh. brother like beat his legs in that's why he's in a wheelchair in that show no he, he made shot. fun of a yeah he made fun of a kid and that kid brought a gun and shot him don't make fun of kids like hit him in the spine i assume yeah yeah yeah. Some, he, something where he lost probably the, ability probably the baby, and it sucks because he yeah. was, like, was the, the star baby. basketball player so, oh shoot dang it but, hey, that school was fine the education was fine the only thing it lacked was education that's okay that's fine yeah uh you don't really need education in a school anymore. That's what they taught us. Yeah, as long as the football team gets new uniforms every four years, that yeah. school's fine. When the yeah, baseball as long as they field, get turf field. When that, fo- when that baseball field got new bleachers and that Nike new fence, uniforms. and then like a month later that storm blew by and blew the whole bleachers away, and that fence was shattered, I went, that's what you freaking get, baseball that was the We needed yeah. an all-weather track, and you fuckers went and got bleachers for who? The three people at your game? Go fuck yourselves. Yeah, that's crazy to spend yeah. money on the baseball track squad. I'm over it. I'm over it. Track squad. Yeah, I just definitely hated. seem over it. Well, I just laughed whenever I heard, like, oh, yeah, they're going to get tur- a turf football field. I was like, that sucks. I they hate said, that they, for them. This year, the football <laughs> team will play on one natural grass field all year. That's crazy. That's so crazy. That one. sucks, dude. That's When sucks. I was in high turf school, sucks. I did not play on a single turf field besides CMU football camp. That's it. Well, that's how much game. it's changed in 10 years. I was, about, I was gonna make a joke saying it was a lot longer than that. Um, yeah. Isn't turf, doesn't turf get really hot? Really hot. It gets it's really, really hot, like, but it just it it's rubber. Really so hot. like if you land on it and just slide on it, it just causes burn. And those I little like pellets turf. get in your eyes and your throat, and it, uh, it's crazy. You see, that's why when I got turf for this office, um, I didn't want the pellets. So I don't have any of that. Uh, what it does kind of have. Well, there, you can, well, you can like get. There's so many different kinds of turf that I didn't know. You can get the kind that has like little yellow like strings in it that makes it look like dead grass. Like clippings are in it, you know. It's really uh, strange. Or they, they'll like they'll like tie, it'll be like tied to some grass blades, but it'll like get loose. It looks like like grass that was cut like a week ago. Um, right. But I got mine's like just the perfect length to where you can like grab it with your toes, which is what I wanted. I wanted to be able That's to grab the like I wanted to be able to like kind of dig my toes into the grass a little bit and like move it around with my feet. It's very nice. The only problem is I shed like a fucking, like a, like a shedding machine. And now there's like a bunch, like every inch of this is covered in invisible long hair that no one can see. But like, if I drop a pin and I pick it up off the, off the turf, I'll pick a bunch of hair. I guess I just need to vacuum in here, which is fine. Well, I don't know how you vacuum turf actually with a vacuum. I I guess. A vacuum. Yeah. Just get a leaf blow it out, I guess. <laughs> well, it's it's mostly a, hair, so I'll just go in there. I'll spaghetti noodle, just suck it in. Spaghetti Ew. noodle, suck. yeah. The spaghetti noodle suck. This spaghetti, this spaghetti sucks. <laughs> oh, 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 this spaghetti sucks. Oh god, it sucks so good. Sorry, <laughs> a lot of different. This is sorry. This is for my acting reel. Um, to get on on uh, the UCB at uh, Los Angeles. How's it going, guys? This is I'm Van Windsor. Yeah, that's all I have, I think. I think that's it for me uh, on the Melbrook Road. We've been going for a bit. I think we're nearing the end. What do you guys say? Um, yeah, I mean, 
I need a pee. So whenever you guys are ready, I'm ready. You can find me at TW Projects on Facebook, but I don't. I currently don't have a shop or tools, but I am looking for rescue heroes still. Still you looking for rescue heroes. heroes. That's the project. Still looking TW for Projects rescue heroes. Nice. All right. Uh, I haven't converted that page, but that's my new project in life. <laughs> There you go. Instagram and uh, the other thing that's associated with Instagram that no one uses, Mason Greenwell 52. Put me up on there. No. Threads. Thread yeah. the Threads. needle. Threading the needle, yes. Mason Greenwell 52. You see me there, you won't see a lot on there. Cool beans. Anyway, um, and then TikTok, M Green We. M Green We. All right. Okay. Excellent. Cool. That's cool. That's cool for you, dude. Good. Good yeah. for you. Okay. Cool. My, my bus is here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. Um, okay. So one of us has to be Forrest Gump sitting on the bench, and one of us has to be the people that sit next to him throughout the movie. You're just like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get out of here. <laughs> oh, 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 I fell off the bench. Sorry, I fell off the bench. Let me get back up. Well, oh. it's about that time. I guess I'm going to go. Goodbye. You want that quote? Oh, okay, I don't you think can follow me done... uh, on oh, yeah, yeah. Windsor on Instagram. I pick up trash on the uh, you know once a week, every every couple of weeks. Hashtag catch of the day. Um, the show you can find the show this show Meadowbrook Road on Instagram at mbr.pod. Clips, announcements, updates, uh, dumb pictures, all that on there, nice. and and dumb videos as well. They're called Reels on Instagram. Uh, we also have a Facebook uh, Meadowbrook Road. Check it out. Uh, that's where same thing. Uh, updates, videos, clips, all that's going to be on the Facebook page. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, what's up? Hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell. Hit the. You know you the, want to. Hit the thumbs up. You do know you want to because it makes a giant bell sound. And also, YouTube's doing a fun thing where, like, if you hit the bell um, and, while you're watching this specific video, you get a hundred bucks. I don't know where that's you get it from. True. That's just what I heard. <laughs> uh, no, that's not true. I guess I shouldn't say that. Uh, but you could try it, see what happens. Uh, I mean, it could not. I mean, it could also be true. It could not be true. It's probably not true. You're probably not getting a hundred dollars anywhere, but you might. I mean, you could What's, give it. I mean, I mean you miss a hundred percent of the possible. shots. You, you miss a hundred percent of the shots you don't take, right? Wayne Gretzky, Michael Squat, Michael Scott. So, Michael Squat, <laughs> Michael Squat. <laughs> That's his like his trainer. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Michael Squat, Squats Tots. Okay, <laughs> Trace. What's the quote for us today? Um, have we ever done Tyron Lou? Tyron Lou. Tyron Lou, former NBA player, now an NBA coach. He was on the oh, Olympic coaching staff for the men. So no. Oh. Tyron so this, Lou is from. Olympics? Yeah, ty- yeah, and maybe the last one. Um, he's a two-time NBA champion as a player, and he's won a championship as a coach. Damn. Nice. Like I said, Good he was him. just on the coaching staff of the gold medal team that literally won like yesterday or whatever. Um, so he's from Korean. Mexico, Missouri. So, Crazy. Hey, okay. Mexico, Missouri. Yeah, he. Uh, that's yeah, not very far from here. He uh, all the time. has a park named after him there. He has a street named after him there. Really? And when he won the championship as a coach, like the first thing he said on TV, like literally still on the court, he was like, "Yo, shout out to Mexico, Missouri." So, oh, pretty sweet. Wow. Pretty freaking cool. What's his so, name? Tyron um, Lou. Tyron Lou. Um, he is. <laughs> unfortunately he's pretty famous he's in one of the most famous nba pictures of oh, all time but okay. he's it's not a good uh, the, thing. on the bad end of it um uh, alan iverson did a had a shot against the lakers where he stepped over somebody that fell on the ground tyron uh, lou's on the ground he's stepping over tyron lou which is pretty cool it's like one of the most famous cool. images in yeah, NBA it's, it's, history. it's, it's, it's alan iverson cool is badass. it's cool in the yeah. way of like that guy who like you got that picture of, like John Lennon meeting the guy who's gonna kill him in like a couple yeah. hours. It's like yeah. it's like that kind of cool. Where it's like yeah, he's like that. He's like the murderer. Guy. Yeah, dude. He's always I'm not associated. even joking. I actually just watched uh, uh, the the Kelsey's podcast. Uh, so this was a clip dude, when they no had little way, Dickie, dude. When they had are little you Dickie joking on. right now? Like, stop, yeah, dude. No, no, no. I, I'm a dead serious. They had little. Oh, Dickie you're not joking. As, my bad. Yeah, they had Little Dicky on as a guest, and Little Dicky said that that uh, Allen Iverson moment is his most like memorable, yeah. his favorite sports memory of all time. And I didn't know who he was stepping over, but yep. I guess it was Whoa. that guy. It was just yep, it's it just popped in my head. Crazy. And it was, like, That's freaked weird. out. Tyron like, goes to 
block oh. the shot or whatever, and he falls and is sitting on the floor as it goes in, and he just steps. Oh, it's so cold. You it's like the coolest like thing a, ever. If he's really from Mexico, nah. Missouri, he would have given him a nut tap. From the bottom, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. Well, um, I mean, he made it to the NBA, so good for him. Yeah, but good two-time NBA champ and a Olympic gold medal coach and all. I mean, crazy. Mexico, Missouri, and he still shouts us out. Shouts out Missouri, which is awesome. Um, I have two quotes because the first one's just funny. Oh, and I have okay. no idea what the context of it at all. Ooh, better. Okay. I if I tell you there's cheese on the moon, bring the crackers. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I like that. Is that I from like Walls and Gromit? What is that? <laughs> if I tell you there's cheese on the moon, bring the crackers. Does that mean we're going to like that? It's I like if I'm saying it, it's true. If you don't believe it, bring the crackers and find out, bitch. That's cool. yeah, I think yeah. the, that's the full that's the full quote. Yeah. I think. He's I like, can... you got to believe in your believe your believe no, what you believe what I'm know. saying. I'm right is what he's saying. He's saying I'm right. I if I say there's cheese on the moon, you you, you don't bring crackers, bring crackers. You're dumb because I'm right. Yeah, I like that. Quote. I also want to include a, another one. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get that. I'm gonna get nice. that framed somewhere because I like that quote. Actually, the cheese <laughs> one. I like. It. He also said, um, "Look, they read they ridiculed Jesus Christ, so I'm certainly no exception." Kind of cold. That's a good uh-huh. one. That's Pretty a good cold. one. I think yeah. that's a good. Anyone would be like, "Okay, fair enough." That's fair a. Enough. I like that. That's good. That's good. Yeah. Damn. And yeah. then uh like that's like a kind fucking... of... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. Like, oh, shit. shit. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, where'd Van go? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. So then uh more traditional coach quote, uh, when you're prepared and you do the best you can do and you put it out on that floor. When you put it out on the floor, you've just got to live with the results. Yeah. Classic. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Classic, Classic coach right there. Coach quotes. I like it. All right, well. Mellow, mellow manifestations, everybody. Peace and blessings. Stay safe out there. Dude, yeah, that little dicky thing was crazy, though, when you started talking about that. I was like, oh, I know, isn't that weird how that always that? happens?